Hey everybody, welcome to Traveling You. I'm Brooke, and you're watching a tutorial for Gin and Juice. This was actually a request as well. I'm going to show you how to play the original Snoop Dogg version, and I'm also going to show you how to play the hoedown style that the Gourds made quite popular, because they're both really easy. So we're going to cover everybody's end of the spectrum <laughs> for this song. We're going to talk about the strum first, because that's the same for both... Um, both styles, both the um, hip hop and the bluegrass. And then I'll show you the chords and how to play the chords, because that's quite, it's a really fast learn, it's only two chords. And then I'll get into um, the hip hop section of the, the tour. <laughs> the hip hop part of the show. So let's, let's do it. Let me show you what um, the chords looks like and sounds like, and we'll learn it. And then I'll show you what the original Snoop Dogg version sounds like. the gourds. So before we learn what those chords are, let me just talk to you about the strum pattern. The strum is basic strum 2, which you can find here on the channel. We're going to use that for both the gourds version and the original Snoop Dogg version. So as a quick reminder, that is down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. It's pretty fast for the gourd song. It's pretty fast. So if you're more of a beginner, you can always strum down with your thumb. You do you. Um, the chords that we're using for the chords A, so the second string down of the first fret and the top string of the second fret, and D, the top three strings of the second fret. So we're just switching back and forth between A and D for the whole song. Um, and we're playing one round strum pattern for each chord. So you've got there not only the Gord's really fun version of Gin and Juice, this is also um, a great little bluegrass like jam riff <laughs> if you want to break it down. <laughs> All right, for um, Gin and Juice, this is what it's going to look like and sound like. least favorite chords. The top and the third string of the first fret and the bottom string of the third fret, which is kind of an uncomfortable position. I usually play it with my thumb like this. An alternative that you could use for this song is F minor 7. So that is the third string down of the third fret, the top two strings of the fourth fret, and the bottom string of the fifth fret. Um, so you can play F minor 7 instead of playing F minor. That's fine. The other two chords are B flat minor seven, so barring the first fret, and C minor seven, barring the third fret. So you get it pretty easy there. And if you're moving from F minor seven, shook, and just barring those two, it's not too bad. <laughs> if you don't like those, um, I put some alternative keys below in the description box. So for the whole song, you're gonna play F minor or F minor seven, whichever you choose, for one round of this drum pattern. And then we play B flat minor seven and C minor seven, split up over one round of the strum pattern. So we're gonna play for B flat minor seven, down, down, and then for C minor seven, up, up, down, down, up. And then we go back to F minor. So it will sound like this. F minor, B flat minor seven, C minor seven, F minor, the B flat one, and the C one. 
here's the thing about California Love and nothing but a G thing. Nothing but a G thing is the same chord progression, but backwards. <laughs> and in a different key. So now that sounds confusing, but what you can do is, instead of starting on F minor, you start on C minor 7. original key, the original chords for that recording. This one is so you can match it, you can match it up with uh, gin and juice. Furthermore, uh, California Love is based on the same kind of chords in a different key as well. So you could actually throw that in. It's not, originally it's not in F minor, but you could play it in F minor. California This is that F minor, B flat, C part. If you are feeling um, sassy and you want to throw in California Love, you can use the F minor. If you're feeling sassier and you want to reverse the order of that gin and juice riff and play nothing but a G thing, you, you go. You go, you. As long as you're having fun. Yay! Can't spell fun without the you from uke. Thank you for coming by. Have fun, whether you're a bluegrass style player or you enjoy the hip hop. We're happy that you're here. Come back, come back and see me and I will see you next time. Subscribe, later.